everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Candy, and I have a special unboxing today. I purchased a planner from Create and Craft. It's te technically the Color Crush Planner. I had originally tried to purchase it from the Webster's Pages, but they weren't going to have the color that I wanted until March, and I could not wait that long. <laughs> I'm like, it's the beginning of the year. I need to get planning. I need to get goal setting. I need to get started. And so I went to this website, Create and Craft, and they did not have the teal one that I wanted. So I went for the, the next color that I really liked, which was the white one. So this is the planner, and I'm going to unbox it and show you all what I got. And I'm so excited. It's like late at night. I just got back from a party, and we just checked the mail. So I really had to film this like now, even though it's late at night, because I was like, I have to open it tonight. I can't wait till tomorrow. I have like no patience. I'm super, super excited. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for like the last two weeks, and it has felt like forever, forever. My first pretty planner. I'm so excited. Okay. We're going to get to the unboxing now. Okay, so I opened this part of the package, and I have an order sheet, which I will put back in the bag so nobody can see it. <laughs> I'll look at that later. Okay. Oh, I got that upside down. It's a beautiful box that has gold dots, and it says Webster's Pages, established 1986. Okay, I've never heard of them before, but... I'm so glad my friend Anna posted that she was one of their special bloggers because I saw how cute they were. And I've been ha I have a planner. It's just a plain black business planner, and it is so boring. I am not a boring person. My makeup is loud. My clothes are loud. I am loud. Like, I am not a muted, neutral, boring person. So <laughs> I have been dying for a nice planner. I just haven't had, like, $100 to spend on like a really nice pile of facts or anything. So I was super glad that these were priced really well and uh, just how adorably cute they are. My box is a little bit squished, but I kind of don't really care about that. But I think it's nice that it comes in one so you can keep it really nice or keep maybe all your planner gear stuff in there, you know, and then you can switch things in and out of your planner. It says, hello, welcome to Webster's Pages in Gold on this really pretty Vellium. Pretty. And then here is the planner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm seriously hearing fires of angels here. It says what, WP there in gold, Webster's Pages. Like, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's so pretty. Okay, anyway, enough of that. It comes with this cute little um, tag thing here that says, be yourself. That's really cute. That would make a cute little planner charm in and of itself, I think. And then it has like a little button here, a little white button with silver, and it just says Webster's Pages on it. And I'll give you guys like an up-closer view of that. And that, and there's nothing on the back. It's just plain. Really pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and in the bottom, there's these really cute stickers. <gasps> How cute are these? Um, it's got like little apples, cute little faces, like food, birds, animals. Okay, let me give you guys a close-up of some of the stickers here. Super, super adorable. And the whole kit was like, with shipping and everything, it was like 50 bucks. So I, I think that's an amazing deal. And it doesn't come with just a planner. It comes with like everything in it for the whole year. And then from now on, I can just buy inserts. So I'm just going to set that right there. And then we will open this puppy up. Ooh, it's got a nice snap. I like that. Snap. <laughs> okay. So... Um, and the inside is beautiful gold. It's a six ring. The one I've had before was seven. I'm not even sure what size this is. It's, it might be a little bit smaller than my current one because I think the current one I have is A5. So this might be um, a, a step below that. But it's got two little card holders, maybe three. Oh, it's got like a yeah, a little pocket, a couple little card holders or paper clips, anything cute like that. And then it has like a little flap here for important paperwork or stickers, whatever you want to put in there, and it says, start each day with a positive thought, and that's just like a little plastic, oh, I can get it here, oh, plastic, yep, a little plastic to cover it, which might make a cute little dashboard, possibly, and then the little vellum with the message on it, oh, and this one actually says dashboard, right here, it's clear, the dashboard, I guess, for you to put, like, your little stickers, sticky notes, whatever. You know, all the things that make planners fun and cute. And then behind that is 
a colorful, colorful dashboard, I guess, one you probably wouldn't decorate. Just on the back it says property of, if you want to include your personal information, which I kind of don't in my planners. I'm always afraid someone's going to steal it or if I forget it somewhere and somebody takes it, then they'll have all my personal you know, information, which I'm just not cool with. Um, and then this one, the well, top one kind of got bent a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and it says write it down. And I just love the colors on this. It's so vibrant, shabby chic, just love it. Just love it. And it says thoughts, ideas, dreams, so you can write whatever. Got a little typewriter on the bottom with a little bit of a measuring stuff and like washi tape type design, so it's really cute. And there's a whole bunch of that right here. I'll probably run out of those. <laughs> I'll have to print some up or something and make my own. And there's nothing on the back, it's just blank. And so the list pages on the very, very rear bottom. Um, although it has a space for a date. And look at this cute little like dots. They look like little watercolor splotches to me, like paint samples or something. Really cute, really fun and girly. And this has, it says month, a day in the life, which I think is really nice because sometimes, sometimes I can write a lot for journaling, but sometimes I don't have the time. And sometimes I'm like, <laughs> besides doing dishes and watching TV, like really nothing happens. And so it's nice to just like, you know, write a little blurb, like did chores today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, made an awesome dinner, this is what we had, you know, just something small to keep track of. And then on this side is more like for Project Life cards, little sketch area if you want to doodle or sketch or whatever, or write down notes, thoughts, whatever. And then you have like a little area that says blank said this. So I guess if you have kids, that'd be really cool. Although <laughs> I guess I could write down funny things that my husband and I say, which might be kind of fun. If we ever have kids, if we ever end up adopting or if other people want to know about our lives, then that'd be fun for them to go through and be like, oh, th these are the funny things they said. And this is for remember this, so if you wanted to write down stuff in more detail, which I love. And so I think that's just cool. And maybe, because it's only one page for the whole thing and it looks like it's for a whole month. So I don't know. Maybe the back part, you just write down stuff for a month. I I'm not really sure what I'd do with that, but if you have any ideas, let me know, and I'll be thinking about it too for a while. The next section, next tab, is list of list we love, list to love. That's what it is. Oh, and I love this. I love carousels. I, they're so much fun and they're so cool, and I've always liked carousels, so I think that's really awesome. Um, I love that. And this one says to do. So close your eyes and imagine unlimited possibilities. And there's like a whole list of what you want to do. This could be like your bucket list for the month. This could be like your bucket list for the year. It could be just like even your bucket list for the week, depending on how busy and crazy your life is. Um, it says m monthly goals. So there's like a little area, and then you can circle the month that you're in. So I like how versatile it is, where it doesn't track you into like a specific time or a specific date. They you use it, so it's really awesome. And then it says plans and to-dos, or plans and plan and do, which is really good because I have a lot of meetings at church and things and I have assignments that I need to get done. And so this is a great place for me personally to write down things that I need to do and when it needs to be done and then check it off as I do it. And that'll help keep me on target and everybody who depends on me to do my job um, on target. And then on the back side of that is a menu, which is really cool. Um, obviously, I could, you could use these like as weekly, although there's not that many of them. Or you can use these as monthly, depending on how you want to do it. Or you can do it bi-weekly, maybe, even. But these are really, really cute. And um, I might still use tabs um, for this. But I think it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the week. Okay. And then the shopping list for the week. So that's really interesting. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be weekly. I'll have to buy some more of these inserts if I'm going to use them. Although I still have laminated menu planning things, which I might end up using those if I run out of these. But these are really cute. I really like this side. That side is really helpful for me personally. Okay. And the rings. The rings are pretty good. These ones feel like a little more, these ones are kind of stuck up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then here we got like some artistic like watercolor paint um, things and paint brushes and I'm not super duper artistic, but I think that's really pretty. And then here's a little positive listening message. You can do anything. And I think that's cool. Dream big. And then it's like, I guess, just pretty decorative paper, maybe for writing notes or lists or just whatever. And you have like a whole bunch of these. 
and then you have some that are like this that have like little um, like newspaper birds. These are just really cute. I'm not sure what I'll do with those either. Interesting. And I like that. I like the fact that they give you so many options of things you can do, and you know they don't tie you into anything specific. So it's like you can make it whatever you want and do it however you want. You don't have to do a specific way, and they give you lots of little options, which I just think is awesome. So our first monthly tab. Oh, here, sorry, I forgot to show this one. Um, this is calendar, and it's got like little balloons on it, colorful balloons, and then it goes into the monthly tabs here that you can see. And I won't show you every monthly tab because that's kind of pointless, but here's January 2015, and it comes with this really cute like polka dot, um, you know, date thing, so you can kind of keep track of where you're at in the month. And so here's your month at a glance, which is what I use personally the most. Because often people will say, oh, are you busy on the such and such date? And then I can just open it to here rather than my weekly calendar, which is more of like everything I need to do each day. And I can be like, oh, yeah, no, I've got plans at such and such time. I'm available or I'm not available. And, you know, I can just know in an instant um, what needs to be done and when and all that jazz. So turn that in. And there's like a little tiny quick list here, which isn't very big, but I'm sure I can put like sticky notes if I need something bigger. And then... Um, yeah, At the, on the back side of this is a this and that, little note and daily memorial memories for a well-planned life, and then it has like a little slot for you to write things down for each day of the week, or each, yeah, each day of the month again, and it goes all the way to 31 in case there's 31 days of the month, and I think that's really cool, so I'm just going to flip over here to December, and then it starts with the weekly planner, weeks and obviously I personally would probably put the weeks in with the month just so it's kind of all together in one little tab instead of doing it more like this but the dates are like this where you know obviously you have January February and you can start you know February on its own blank page and move it to the next one let's see how they do February here yep Oh, looks like we're missing a day in February. Oh, no, wait. February is a short month, right? It's like the 28th or something. Oh, it looks like we're missing some days or something. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, there's weekly stuff in here for that. And then at the very back, it's just a little thing that says, she designed the life she loves, which I think is really cool and inspirational for me. There's like another little blank dash if you want to keep some more stuff back there. And then there's like this little sleeve where you can insert things here or whatever you want. Oops, a little piece of cardboard that isn't necessary anymore anyway. And then there's like a pocket here. And then there's um, a little note book thingy here for lists. And that is only, it only says lists and notes on the first little page here, which you can tear off or you can use it if you want to use every little page. And then it has like a little pen pen loop here for your favorite little pen. And that's pretty much the planner. And as you can see, it's got plenty of room for expansion here. So, I mean, you can put a nice thick pen there. You've got room to put your own things in, put other dashboards, organize it how you want, add what you want, make it your own. And that's pretty much the planner at a glance. And if you guys want me to, I can do another video showing you what I decided, or how I decided to decorate and set up my planner, because I'm going to be working on that in the next few days to a week. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Just um, comment down below in the section below. If you've got any other questions, just let me know. And um, I'd love to see you guys' planners or hear how you guys use your planners and what is important to you in your planners. And if you guys want to post pictures or whatever, I've got Facebook or Twitter. I need to put my Twitter up on my <laughs> page, I guess. But, yeah, just let me know. I'd love to see it. All right, catch you guys later. Bye.